Hello everyone and welcome back to another pair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and today we have an iPhone 11 that came with a problem with the cameras. Now let me just show you again the uh, smashed glass uh, near the rear cameras and you can immediately say that the camera stopped working after this impact damage, which is correct. Uh, the customer actually mentioned that. Uh, so now I'm going to uh, show you that all the cameras are not working, even the flashlight is not working, which is obvious. Now the first thing to do is to check if we have a faulty cameras and of course if everything is okay with our parts that means that or our cameras that means that we have a problem with the board so now let's just uh, take a working parts other cameras and check and see if we can uh, repair this uh, problem easily. So you can see I have two functional rear cameras and one complete front face ID cameras also functional and first thing I'm going to test is another face ID cameras with the original camera and see the results. A lot of uh, cameras in this video and as you can see the camera is working, the rear camera and the front also. So now I'm going to test the original face ID front camera but without connecting the front camera connector with the original rear camera just to make sure that we don't have any problem with the infrared camera. I know it's not a problem, it doesn't have any problem with it because they have both different lines, but just in case. And also I didn't mention anything about uh, software solution because I didn't face any problem with the complete non-functional cameras due to a software problem, maybe after we change the cameras or something like that. Uh, it could be a problem with the cameras, but Apple uh, fixed this in iOS 15. Now this is the final test, and again connecting anything, yes everything is the same. So now we're going to chop under the microscope and check the front camera lines and the front camera. So here we go, this is the uh, face ID flex, and this is my multimeter, now let's check. And that we have a short on uh, the camera that goes on the connector PP1V2 uh, face camera, and uh, this is and working one that I'm going to show you that it uh, must not be shorted as you can see and now we're going to jump to ZXW just uh, to explain you so here our is the ZXW and here we go as you can see this is the shorted line from the other side of the connector which uh, the first side is ground and the second one is the PP1V2 FaceTime front camera I don't know what you call it I don't give a shit, uh, DVDD, which goes to those two capacitors and then goes to the camera IC, which is the U3700. And that's why uh, when you connect all the cameras or if you have a short on a specific voltage that came out from, that comes out from the uh, camera IC itself, that means that all the cameras will not work because uh, there is only one IC that are uh, responsible for giving all the voltages for all the cameras so that's why when we connect the front camera which is a shorted front camera and connect other uh, other cameras all the cameras will not work because again the output from the U3700 which is the PP1V2 front camera DVD is shorted Okay, so here we have an iPhone 7 with the changed front camera. Let's take our screwdriver but fix and the first screw. Here we go. Mm hmm mm hmm Okay, second one. Looking good, looking good. Oh, the third one. All right, all right. Okay, the fourth one. And the last one, yes. Should I hit this one? Okay, that's it. Oh, fuck. I hit the shitty mouse.
steps. Let's get everything up. Let's get the phone to boot up and let's go and test the cameras. And of course, if the Face ID is not working, after you change the front camera, you need to update to the latest iOS. So I think we'll go OK. And the front camera is working. Now let's go and test the Face ID. I have the latest iOS 15, so everything looks OK, even if you change the camera. So yeah, everything looks okay. I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.